Right, we're here at the first part of the pilgrimage. We're at Dunbar Bridge at the eastern end of Woodhead Tunnel. Um, where we're standing now, the lines to Sheffield that go that way behind me, the lines over to Manchester in front of me. This was the busy sort of interchange. We've got the River Don on our right, which you can't see at the moment. Right, this is the uh, remains of the inside of the signal box. You can see it's a bit dilapidated. There's still some bits of control wire around here. And it's from here that they monitor the trains coming in and out of the tunnel. Right, I'm now standing on the track bed and the remains of Dunford Bridge Station, which was no longer in operation when the passenger service ceased on the 5th of January 1970. Uh, this place used to be in pretty good shape, but since the line was closed in 81, they've taken all the catenary down and all the track bed up. Right, the camera's now pointing towards Sheffield. You can see up behind me the signal box, which for my benefit, the record is in a light greeny colour, where the wood is painted and the rails of the station platforms. We're now going to go towards the tunnel. Right, we're now walking away from the station and behind me you can see some of the old buildings which I think belong to the original tunnel. Right, we're now looking towards the portals of the, the new tunnel, the eastern portal. Right, this is the old tunnel mouth, which is uh, now used as a CGB tunnel for cables across the Pennines, so we won't go any nearer. You can see at the top of the arch there's a plaque that reads BR 1954, which uh, commemorates the opening of the eastern tunnel mouth. Over here we've got the four posts for the first of the catenary runs out of the tunnel. We are now actually standing in the tunnel. You can see there's graffiti on the wall commemorating the locos and the closure. It's just over three miles long going west from here, straight apart from a kink just before the end. You can see the brackets to hold the signalling and power wires on the side and some kind of bracketry at the top of the tunnel and I can see what looks like patinery further into the tunnel. When it first opened, this was illuminated throughout, but it's pretty dark in here now. Right, I'm standing in the tunnel. It's cold. There's a weird atmosphere and a distant noise of what must be water, but it, it sounds a bit like locos. And that's not just me thinking that, we both do. When the uh, line was actually in service, the trains would come either side of this central platform.
This is the western portal of the tunnel at the other end of the three and a bit mile length.